Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Paige here, once again with another video for you guys, and this is about the Deadpool, tra uh, the Deadpool trailer. Did I just say Deadpool? Who cares? Anyway, the Deadpool trailer that was shown at um, San Diego Comic Con, which was leaked, obviously, as most of them are. Now, I'll leave that trailer link in the description below if you want to go check it out, sorry, and uh, I won't post it on here because obviously because of copyright and stuff like that, so you can go check it out. But in this video, I'm going to be going through the top five moments that I saw from that trailer, similar to the one I did with the Suicide Squad. So if you do you want to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, leave any comments, and subscribe if you are new. So at number five, we have the little joke towards the Green Lantern movie and the costume. And this is when uh, he's getting wheeled away for, the, I'm assuming, the surgery. And basically, he's told that he will become a superhero if he allows the people to experiment on him. And he basically says, please don't make the suit green. Or animated which is just a hilarious joke towards the Green Lantern suit that we saw in that uh, name of the same uh, that movie sorry the same name even funnier that Ryan Reynolds is actually the main character in both of these movies as well up next is essentially the human side of this movie we are gonna get a human Wade Wilson we did get down that X-Men Origins movie as well but let's not talk about that so we're gonna get the human side of Deadpool as well as we're gonna get probably the human side at the beginning but also throughout the movie as well maybe he's like he misses his old life and stuff like that so we'll probably get that throughout the movie now it's, the trailer does start off with basically him being told that he has cancer of both the of all sorry the lung the prostate and the brain so obviously this leads to the whole experiment thing which basically does tear him away from his wife so i'm assuming that's going to be explored throughout the movie up next is the sort of the hint at the test footage that we saw, I think it was last year, correct me if I'm wrong, it might have been the year before, like towards the end, but I'm pretty sure it was last year, with that highway scene, and, and we do get a similar one in this trailer, it's not shot for shot, but it is very similar, it might be shot for shot in the movie, maybe they just, you know, chopped it up a bit for the trailer, obviously, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's the test footage stuff, so that's pretty damn awesome to see, and hopefully it's shot for shot in the actual movie. The second last one we have here is Colossus. He is in this movie along with Negasonic, is it Negasonic Teenage Warhead? I think that's her name. And uh, it, that follows with the line, what the shit? That's the coolest name ever, which I thought was hilarious. But the, the cool thing about Colossus is that he actually looks straight out of the comics. He looks exactly like the comics, or exactly like the character from the comics, might I say. One in X-Men is pretty close as well, but it's not the same. This one looks a lot better. We did see Colossus in Days of Future Past only last year, so it's not like it's been five or six years since we last saw Colossus, and this is just an improvement. Like, this is only a year apart from the last time we saw Colossus. So this is pretty damn cool to see, and I think you'll... I'm interested to see how much you'll be in the movie. I'm assuming a decent amount. And the last one we have here is... Possibly the best cameo by Stan Lee I think we're ever going to see. And he is a DJ in a strip club. Do I say more? And also his line in the uh, the trailer is, is freaking hilarious as well. Which is give it up. Oh, it's give it up for. And then they enter the, the stripper's name. I can't remember what the stripper's name was. But like, give it up for. Enter stripper name. So this was amazing. It's just the fact that he was a DJ. That could be funny if he was like just a resident. Like not a resident, but like a person in the strip clubs there to watch the girls but the fact that he's the DJ is hilarious so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like leave any comments what was your favorite part from the Deadpool trailer if you have watched it it will be linked in the description below as I said before if you're new in here make sure to subscribe follow me on Twitter if you want that link will be in the description below as well and I will catch you guys later goodbye